both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. Despite the striking fact that most of the scientists that the world has ever known are alive and working today, despite the fact that this nation's own scientific manpower is doubling every 12 years in a rate of growth more than three times that of our population as a whole. Despite that, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstrip our collective comprehension. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. For the eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom and peace. We have vowed that we shall not see space filled with weapons of mass destruction, but with instruments of knowledge. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained and new rights to be won. And they must be won and used for the progress of all people. It's another view from cameras in the aft of Endeavour's cargo bay, uh, taking a look uh, at the uh, trailing edge of the port wing. Houston, we are ready for the start of opportunity to launch. Endeavour for Dom, uh, we'd like to hold a few minutes on this just to see if we can pick, pick up a better pair of stars. We'll get back to you in here in a few minutes. Okay, thanks.
Deborah Commander Dunn, Dunn, Dunn going talking with uh, Tim Dutton, Tim the entry Capcom and the shuttle flight control room about uh, star, uh, star's alignment opportunity. These uh, are basically taking fixes on stars in order to precisely align the inertial measurement units, the navigation devices, one of the sets of navigation devices for uh, Endeavour.